Yo, what's going on everybody? About to go crush a massive leg day and it's gonna be a wicked workout. So I'm gonna be starting my new split. I mean, I already have started it, but this will be the first leg day where I actually hit quads and hamstrings together. So it's gonna be a longer leg day. Um, definitely a little bit longer than I probably normally do when I'm splitting up the muscle groups. But since I'm only training legs once per week, I'm gonna be Obviously they're a little bit longer to train, you know, my quads and my hamstrings and my calves all together. Just making my pre-workout right now. I had a pretty good, honestly, I've been locked in since I've been home. I had a good breakfast, I had a good lunch. Breakfast is the same as always, 100 grams of oats, blueberries, peanut butter, um, and a few eggs. And then for lunch, for lunch I had potatoes, rice, and chicken. So, feeling good. And then of course I got my pre-workout. Same one as always guys. I use the, uh, the madness all in. This shit is cracked. Oh, my favorite flavor, tropical cyclone. Nothing beats it. Um, and then during my workouts, you'll probably see me drinking something too. I take two scoops of these EAAs. So this is the tropical fruit punch. So once I drink my uh, pre-workout, I throw two scoops of my EAAs in there. So, day was good so far. Morning, my mornings are always pretty chill, I'm not gonna lie. I usually start the mornings off pretty slow, eat, take my dog for a walk. This morning I read, I, I'm, I'm on the new Elon Musk book. It's a banger. If you guys like reading, definitely go grab that Elon Musk book. Um, but anyways, let's get to fucking business. Let's talk about the leg day. So for today's leg day, this is how I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna hit calves first. I usually always train calves first at the beginning of my workout. I don't think I'm gonna record it. I'm just gonna get into the main movements after I you know, hit my fucking calves. So I'm gonna do six to eight sets of calves on that standing calf press. Maybe I'll do some seated. Either way, I'm gonna be doing six to eight hard sets on those. And then I'm gonna, after I've warmed up my, my quads, my hamstrings, everything, I'm good to go. I'm gonna be doing most likely a hack squat followed by I, oh, I've been doing a hack squat, a leg press, and then walking lunges, and that's been my three go-to exercises because it just fucking annihilates my legs every time. So I've been really loving that. Um, but then I'm gonna throw in probably a hamstring, well, two hamstring exercises in as well. So I'll be doing a seated and a laying down curl. Um, I actually might do the seated hamstring curl before my hack squat, and then I'll do the laying at the end. Um, we'll just see what's available and how I'm feeling basically when I get to the gym. But I think that's the plan of attack for today. Yeah, I think that's the plan of attack. It should be a good workout. Like I said, I'm really excited to go get into it. So without any further ado, I'll see you guys at the gym. Back in the gym, I was gonna do, like I said, hack squat, but the hack squat that I like is taken right now. So, you know, I'm just gonna stick with the pendulum. Um, this machine is absolutely insane on your quads. So I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too upset about it because yeah, this machine is arguably better for your quads than the hack squat in my opinion. Um, I did warm up, like I'm already sweating. I'm about to get into my working set number one here. Uh, I did do about six, six sets of calves and then I dropped out of the last set, eight to, eight to 15 reps. So yeah, we're about to get into working set number one right here. Gonna be going for probably 10 to 12 reps. I don't think I'm gonna go as heavy today. Give my knees a little bit of a break. Ugh. I think that was probably closer to 15 reps. I'm not exactly sure. If that last rep was a grind, I think I would have failed the next rep anyway. So that's sufficient. So the secret to getting big quads is 
you want to maximize knee flexion. All that means is trying to bend your knee to the fullest extent because that's going to give you the biggest stretch on your quad. It's going to recruit more muscle fiber and it's going to help you grow. It's like imagine you're doing a bicep curl, you're going halfway and coming back up. You're going to get a lot more when you completely stretch your bicep out and then curl the weight back up. It's the same thing with your quads. That's why you see me going so deep on these. Obviously you need good ankle and knee mobility, but if you do, and hip too, but if you do have that, you wanna go basically as deep as you possibly can before you push back up. And it's gonna be a game changer for the amount of mass that you build on your quads. You'll be able to see how deep I go from this angle. All the way down, up. This is how deep most guys go. And then back up. You wanna go. One more. Doing your reps like that, you're gonna see so much more growth in your quads. Ass to fucking grass every rep. Control those negatives. Pause on the bottom even for a brief second. Push back up. All right, last set. This shit. Okay, next exercise. Okay guys, so we're doing a leg press next. Same thing, I'm gonna place my feet a little bit lower on the platform, pointing my toes slightly outwards to really allow my knees to drop into my chest. Again, that's gonna maximize knee flexion, putting the biggest stretch on my quads, making, uh, helping me make more gains essentially. What I like about this leg press too is you can put your feet up high, but it also comes really far down so your feet don't have to hang off or anything. And another common question I get is, Mark, my heels are coming off the platform. So you wanna pl place your feet low enough, but not low enough where your heels are starting to lift off. Just something to note. Um, I'm gonna go for probably around 12 reps again, I'm assuming, but we'll see. It's hot in here today. See how deep I can get on these reps. That was decent. That probably wasn't complete failure, but definitely a couple reps away. I think I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. I don't feel like doing fucking 20 reps every set now. So this will allow you to see my foot positioning on here. I'm not going up high like this. That's gonna hit a little more glutes. I'm going lower on this platform. Not keeping my poised toes straight up, slightly outwards. Again, it's gonna allow you to open up your hips. That was 15. I'm gonna add one more plate.
That fucking hurt. Finish on the leg press. And I'm gonna hit a little bit of hamstrings. This is probably my favorite hamstring exercise right here. Man, I'm sweating profusely today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just extra hot in the gym today, but I haven't sweat this much in here in a while. I'm gonna do a warm up set and then I'm gonna do three working sets on this one. This is uh, gonna be my warm up set. Just trying to get some more blood into the hamstrings because I haven't directly trained them yet. So anytime I'm doing a different muscle, like I was just smashing my quads, I like to do a warm up set then. For the warm ups, it's nothing crazy. 10 to 12 reps, do a squeeze, get a good control, feel the muscle start working. It's kind of like an activation set. And then you can start to fucking smash it. Anyways, female. Guys, I'm really just trying to work out. She's distracting me because she wants sex from me. And I just can't provide that right now. When girls see you with a quad pump like this, they instantly want to just give you sloppy. Oh. But she's gonna have to wait. Even myself, bro, I don't know if I could afford to take a, That's the thing. that big of a hit. Especially like not work out at all. But it would be a big shout out as well. Sorry, bro, I'm gonna turn my mic off actually. Sorry about that last set. Okay, that was a good set though. I'm actually getting hamstring cramps. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need a little more magnesium before I come to the come to the gym. One last hard set. I just smoked my hamstrings a couple days ago. Still feeling a little bit. All right guys, I lied. I'm gonna do some dumbbell walking lunges. I think that's gonna be it for me. My hamstrings are fucking tight. Everything is kind of starting to cramp up. So I'm gonna do these lunges. I think I'm gonna be fucking toast after that. Maybe I'll do a drop set on the last set. We'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna just walk the length of this. Ooh. Man, those might be one of the most underrated exercises for your legs. Walking lunges are fucking brutal. I don't give a shit. Legs are fucking pumped right now. Two more sets like that. Okay guys, that's a wrap. Let's go check the pump. Holy fuck, I'm dead. Okay, let's check the pump. Oh yeah. The one thing about a quad pump or a leg pump in general, 
there's so much blood in the, in the quads that you can't see much separation. They still look fucking thick though. Oh. One thing that I didn't do this workout that I typically do like doing, if you wanna fill out your quads and just your legs in general, is train your adductors. It's gonna make your legs look way bigger. Oh. I think that's all I got in me. My legs are fucking throbbing right now. Oh, and I'm sweating like a pig. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys at home. All right guys, that's another wrap on a big workout. That was a savage leg day in my opinion. I pushed myself, I got a crazy pump. I can feel my glutes, I can feel my hamstrings, I can feel my quads. Everything was tightening up. I was actually cramping in the middle of my workout. Um, so, let me, oh shit. So, actually I'm gonna take some magnesium because magnesium is good for cramping. Um, so yeah, that's how you know you had a pretty good workout in my opinion. So this is 210 milligrams. So I'm gonna take four, I'm gonna take 420 milligrams of magnesium right now. And that's just gonna prevent cramping. It's gonna relax your muscles. Um, so when I'm working and I have to go shoot content, sorry buddy, come here, come here, come here, come here. My dog is going crazy. Um, it's just gonna relax your muscles basically. So I'm gonna be eating a meal right now. I'm gonna be eating more chicken, more rice, probably some Brussels sprouts on the side. Same meal I had yesterday. Again, typically I would be eating ground beef after, but I don't have it cooked and I gotta go to work at six o'clock, so it's 4.30, so I don't have time to cook. Um, so it is what it is. I'm just gonna be eating, same thing, 375 grams of rice, um, some potato, maybe 200 grams of rice, 200 grams of potato, five ounces of chicken, and I'm gonna go from there. That was a really fucking good leg day though. I'm satisfied with it. Again, I'm gonna be hitting these leg days once per week. Um, so I will be modifying things as I go. And if you wanna stay up to date on my workouts, on my training, on my split, on everything, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like the video. It helps with the algorithm a fucking ton. And I appreciate the support so far. Um, yeah, it goes a long way. If you guys want me to talk about things in my videos too, um, drop questions down below and I'll make sure to address whatever training or nutrition or whatever kind of um, questions you guys have about fitness in general, um, drop them down below and I'll make sure to answer them as I work out in my uh, upcoming videos. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I'll see you tomorrow.